Hello again. Today we're going to have a quick look at how to set up folder redirection in Windows Server 2012 R2. Okay. Here we are in Server 2012 R2, Release Candidate 2. Click on the desktop. Okay. Click here, Administrative Tools. We're going to Group Policy Management. Okay, that's already been opened over there. And we have basically our user within this organizational unit that we set up in our video previously, but it's fairly straightforward to do. Okay, and then we have created this GPO, group policy object, for that. And we edit it. Okay, you click on edit, and then this will open up over here. All right, okay. Then we navigate to... Where are we? Okay, not that one. We are in the user configuration. Okay, policies, and it is coming soon. Folder redirection. There we go. All right, and Whichever folder on the client computer, for example, Windows 8, 8.1, Windows 7, or whatever, that's basically part of this domain. And you want their, whenever they save in, shall we say, they're my documents, it'll go in a centralized network storage and can also be stored on their own computer as well. And this helps in, shall we say, syncing documents, syncing folders and keeping everything unified. Okay, so you have this over here, just right click it, go to properties, and you have a couple of choices. You can do it basic, everyone who logs into the domain goes to the same kind of area, the same storage area, or you can go each one by one. Okay, we've gone for basic as it's quite simple, straightforward. Okay, create a folder for each user under the root path. Okay, what we have done on our server, server 2012 R2, in our own My Documents, that for the administrator, obviously this is not advisable storing it here. You'd want to store it somewhere else, but we've done it for simplicity. Okay, it's all going to be over there. So just click over there, click yes, that's all fine. And now we'll show you how it works. Here we go on our Windows 8 server, I mean Windows 8.1 client. Okay, just log back in. All right, and the My Documents, okay, all right, all right, there we go. In the Documents folder, create a new folder, okay, new folder too, that's fine, okay, happily, happily, happily. If we go back to our location, oops, not that, if we go back to on our server, the documents folder. It's the username test. Each user gets their own, shall we say, subfolder grouping within our My Documents documents. And there we go. We have a new folder too. Okay, it's as simple as that. Sorry, there's a phone call coming through. All right. Bingo. Ah, just one more thing. What you would want to do is don't forget, this is okay for operating where there's always a network connection. However, that is not always the case. And in such a situation, you create a folder over here, it's not backed up on the main server, or it's lost. Because, or when you log into the domain, or whenever you log into your own computer, if you're, shall we say, in the mountains, you will not have those folders. So, what you need to do, okay, as you can see over here, these folders are online and sync status. Make sure you always click always available offline. So that makes sure a local copy is saved on this Windows 8 or whatever client computer. That's what you must do. Okay, simple. Thank you for watching. Hope this helps. Um, please let us know if you have any comments. Thank you.